Nick from Modern Molding, and today we're just going to demonstrate how easy it is to install our uh, foam coping cantilevered system. Um, right off the bat, there's uh, several different styles you can choose from. The difference with our system is we don't have any two-way tape here, which makes the install uh, very easy and the removal as well. Um, we have this piece of foam here that sticks out that'll wedge into the track, and I'll show you how that works. And then the other component to our system is these reusable clips, and again, I'll be demonstrating how these work as well. And the one last piece of this is uh, this uh, three-inch filament tape. We use this for uh, bending around uh, corners and uh, radiuses. So here I have the, the uh, filament tape, and I'm just going to show you how you tape the, the coping prior to, to putting it on. So for an outside corner, you would tape the outside. For an inside corner, you would tape the inside. Because I'm doing an outside and inside corner with this piece, I'll be taping both sides. Another hint you might want to do prior to going in there and putting it on, you might want to bend it over your knee a little bit just to kind of get, get some of the foam to take shape. You may hear some crackling, but that's normal. It's just this piece of foam that's sticking out that is uh, separating a little bit. But the foam will hold its shape. So now that this piece of styrofoam is taped and bent, it's ready to be installed. I just want to go over a couple of things for you. Uh, this particular uh, contractor likes to use uh, a double tracks, one for the liner and one for the winter cover. So you can see here it uses the double track, but then we'll switch over to a single track for his winter cover. He'll actually put that on the stairs. So then he can use our same uh, clips to lock it into the track. Um, but for today's demonstration, I'm going to show you, we have uh, these other clips that are used for fiberglass poles, but you can also use these for around the stairs. Um, and also, if you set these stairs up a quarter inch higher to, um, so that when you put this single track on, it's in line with this top track. So now I'm going to be putting the piece of foam on. I did a couple pre-cuts here just for these bump outs, so everything is nice and straight. So I'm taking that piece of foam that's sticking out and I just wedge it into the track. Very simple. And I'll take our reusable clips. There's a line on the back of the styrofoam so you know where to put the clip in. It's lined up with this track here. Just push it in and lock it in place. Give it a little tug just to make sure it's, it's on secure. Nice thing with our system, you'll see that these clips are nice and high so it gives a lot of support. Especially on a rectangle pool, you'll see it keeps everything nice and straight. And we recommend on a freeform pool, you could probably get away with maybe every 8 to 10 inches or 12 inches apart. But on a rectangle pool, I'd go maybe 6 to 8 inches apart, just for that extra support. So now when you're coming around the stairs, you're going to want to take these other clips, once you've got your height set, and you're going to push the clip through, first from the inside, just to mark where it's going to go and then once you do that you take it out and you push it from the back so you're going to want to do that once you have everything lined up you're going to do that from the inside and from the outside this piece i already pre-marked it so i know where it's going to be
have these uh, self-tapping screws. You can pick these up at any hardware store. There's the three-quarter inch or one inch. And what you're going to want to do now is you're going to want to put the pressure on the foam as well as the clip. You want to make sure the clip is nice and tight. Again, it's very important to push on the clips. You want them nice and tight. So you're going to want to remember to make sure to push these nice and tight because you don't want any gap between the foam because when the concrete's poured, it's going to push against the clip. You want to make sure that when you're putting this on, the clip is nice and tight. Without the two-way tape, there's no fussing around and no worried about, you don't have to worry about it being level. Everything's leveling itself off. And you can see it's an easy install, one guy to do outside corner and inside corner. So now that I've uh, screwed this down on the on the stairs here, I'm going to continue going around the pool in that direction. So I'm doing an inside corner. So again, I'm going to want to tape the inside of the foam here. Again, you're going to do, want to do the same thing. It's roughly where you know you're going to be putting it in the corner there. You're going to pre-bend it on your knee a little bit. Another important thing you want to keep in mind, you're going to be taking the tape off prior to pouring the concrete. So you don't have to worry so much about the outside, but the inside, you're going to want to peel that back. You don't want it tucked around the corner here because then you won't be able to take that out. Then you're just going to take your foam, put it in the track if you want. You can also put this one in on the other end and it'll guide itself into place. 
just slowly work it way into the corner. Again, just take your clips, lock them in place. Where two pieces come together here, you can put that one on a slight angle so when they pour the concrete, you don't get any uh, inconsistency there. For the straight pieces, obviously you don't need the tape. You're just going to butt this one nice and tight up against the last one. Push it in place. Again, without the two-way tape, you can see here how easy it is to install. Now everything goes nice and level. Then just take that clip again, just tilt it slightly. With a free-form pool, you could probably put them every foot, these clips. On a rectangle, you might want to go six to eight inches. Always check them. If they're snug, they're, they're locked in. The other nice thing with our system. You can see here I start to get into the deep end, um, so it's easier I can go on the outside. So I can actually come on the outside here and install it up here. Again, you can see with these clips how nice and straight this side is. It's rectangle. Cool. All 
right, so I'm just going to tell you a couple more hints um, when you're installing this system. So now what you're going to want to do prior to pouring the concrete is you can take the tape off now. Because now that it's holding its shape, it'll stay together. Again, before the concrete's poured, you want to go around with some, some oil. We recommend you use a simple cooking spray you can pick up at a dollar store. Very cheap. Give it a nice spray so the forms will strip off real easy when you're ready to pull them off. When the concrete is being poured in here, you'll be pushing it down with your trowel. Make sure it gets on the face really nice. You're going to want the guys with the wheelbarrows to pour away from the form and then just kind of rake it in. And get a, a vibrating tool. You can either use a sawzall or a palm sander. You're really going to want to vibrate. Just use a sawzall. Just take the blade off and give this a good vibrating all the way around. It'll bring the liquid to the surface. So you won't get any, you know, won't be a lot of holes in the finish. And uh, that's basically it. I just want to show one more thing here. Um, again, going back to the stairs, you can see the way we've done it here again with these, this different style clip. Um, this can be used, the system for fiberglass pools. Just like these stairs, you can do the same thing all the way around a fiberglass pool. You would screw these self-tapping screws in. Uh, so I just want to show you quickly. Obviously this would be done after the concrete's poured and you're ready to strip your forms away. But I just want to show you this so you can see what's going on underneath the concrete. So when you're ready to strip these after the concrete's poured, you basically rotate these and clip them straight off. Okay, and I'm just going to cut this piece off here. But the one thing with our system, because we don't have two-way tape, you'll be able to strip these off in a full eight-foot piece. So I'm just going to cut this piece off just to show you what the demonstration here of what these clips. So once you strip this away, you'll have these tabs sticking out. And where you've screwed them down, you've created the weak point. So now once these clips are in, you want to take those clips out. There's this tool you can buy online, or we sell this tool as well. And basically the way it works is you take your vice grip, you take the screw out of the back of the vice grip. this tool here, screw it into, into the back, and you want to get a firm grip on the clip, so then the way this thing works is just a little slide hammer, this will slide back and release the uh, the clip here. So you see it snap right off. Like I said, you created the weak point where the screw is. This just clamps on there and snaps right off. So again, nothing will be exposed because your concrete is going to be out past the screw. So nothing's exposed. You won't see any any wires or any clips sticking out. It's that simple. Just want to explain one more system that we have. Um, basically, all the profiles that we sell have this other piece of foam. It's just a big block that wedges into these auto covers. These uh, safety auto covers they're getting real popular now so we have our system with these same clips they'll work for that as well um, the only important factor that you have to keep in mind is 
there are some that don't have this uh, feed receiver, so uh, our reusable clips won't work. But if you take these clips that you use for the fiberglass, what you do is you use a self-tapping screw right on the end there. You just have to make sure that where you put the screw in is past this wall right here. You don't want to be inside this area because then you're, you won't be able to put your auto cover track inside there. So you just want to make sure that that screw is back on the outside.